Hey, what's happening? It's Michael Smith from Numbers Never Lie, hanging out with our friend Ray Lewis. Hey, how's it going? Jamel and I are here trying to make sense of why history is telling us that the Broncos and Seahawks won't win the Super Bowl. Ray, that's the best offensive team in the league and the best defensive team in the league. But only one of the last nine teams to lead the league in scoring defense actually won the Super Bowl. And even though the Broncos set a record for most points scored in the season, none of the seven highest scoring teams in NFL history won the Super Bowl either. But the Broncos and Seahawks still have home field advantage, and that's got to count for something, right? Jamel, I hosted the Lombardi twice with the Ravens. And each time we beat a number one seed on the road in the divisional playoffs. Yeah, and starting with that first championship season for the Ravens in 2000, only two of the 26 teams to earn a one seed actually went on to win the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, six teams have beaten the number one seed in the division round and then gone on to win it all. Including each of the last three Super Bowl champions. Okay, I see what you mean. Jamel, I know this round was when our playoff run really picked up steam last year. So if recent history holds, when the Seahawks and the Broncos games kick off this weekend, you're more likely to see the eventual Super Bowl champions if you're looking at the Saints or the Chargers. Because numbers never lie.